Here we're going to specifically look at the main types of T cells, specifically the four main types of T cells. So the four main types, we have the first one here, which is the helper T cells, which initiate the immune response. They are the ones that authorize the attack. So often helper T cells can be considered like generals of the immune system because they call up troops of the B cells, cytotoxic T cells, and other helper cells to go into battle against invading pathogens as we see in this image here. So our helper T cells, where are they located? Well, right here. They're the ones kind of initiating and calling in other T cells uh, in B cells to initiate this response of the immune system. So helper T cells is one type. Another type is called the cytotoxic T cells, which I mentioned before. They lyse virus infected cells. They have the license to kill here, the kind of secret agent here. So our cytotoxic T cells are the ones that are actually going through and destroying um, the cells, lysing those cells. We see here our red blood cell being lysed, being broken apart. They're releasing um, proteins, uh, think of them as like little missiles to help break down that particular cell. The third type is called the memory T cells. So they provide a quick response on re-exposure. They're kind of the ones keeping watch. So initially we have our initial exposure, no memory T cells. We have our primary immune response with low affinity for antibodies, but upon second exposure, see how it rises a lot higher in a much quicker concentration of antibodies. That's because of our memory T cells, because they're providing that quick response upon re-exposure. They're remembering, hey, I've seen this before, and then initiating much greater concentration of antibodies. The fourth type are the suppressor T cells. So these terminate the immune response. Now this initially might sound counterintuitive. Why do we want suppressor T cells? They're the ones that basically declare victory and they say it's time uh, to take a rest. They're kind of the ones that say stop wasting time, uh, stop devoting energy to this, we've cleared up the problem, um, you can stop now. Kind of that way to kind of regulate or shut down uh, the system here. So yes, at times we do want these to be active and cleaning up our um, body, ridding it of potential invaders, but we also need a way to kind of stop that so this uh, body is not wasting energy overproducing these particular cells, and the T suppressor cells are responsible for that. 